Mr. Whitaker. This is uh, my collection of Kenpo Library. Um, these are really, really, really informative. Uh, I was taught under um, Matthew Hayes. And these are the books that he had available, which because he always thought that that um, that knowledge should never be hidden, and a lot of uh, karate schools do that, and that's really kind of uh, sad. But this is what I have. I have a yellow belt. It goes in pretty good detail. Gives you all the breakdowns. You know which techniques are grab tackle for the attacks. Da 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 da. Tells you how to do it, clock positions, etc. Um, which is really nice is also in here we have the books get thicker as the belt ranks go up of course uh, short form one um, chronological order of short form one etc orange belt's the same uh, they went to a different cover at my school they started just do, doing the uh, IKKA blue belt green belt First brown, second brown. These are very well used books. I even have uh, a breakdown of uh, kicking set two. But I'll, well, what's good about these books is the fact that these are. This is what Mr. Parker taught, and I get upset with some a lot of videos because I basically I see tailored techniques, and which tailoring is part of the art because it's, it's making it one of your own but if you're teaching an Ed Parker system then I think everything's in it from a neutral position that's that's what's, what's what's so great about it and it's like what you add and subtract and uh, rearrange and reverse or whatever it's all up to you uh, these are really good books to read um, the Infinite Insights, one through five. I have uh, Two Man Set, which is contained in this book by Ed Parker. This is just a blown up version. Uh, Zen of Kempo, Brian Adams, uh, De Deadly Karate Blows. This is a thesis for uh, his black belt. I also have. Over here, I have tempo blades. Pull this out here. I gotta put the camera down. Um, this one is, uh, I don't know if you can read it, but I'll read it for you. This is the first production run. This is uh, number. 255 of 1500. This was done in 1996. So, this is a very special knife to me because this is first production run. And then I also have over here, I have another one. Because <laughs> you need two. But this one is, uh, I think, a second run, but they both have the Kempa Crest. And I have a Boken Tempo Bowie knife with from Gil Heaven spurned in there. But that's my collection. We will talk more.